I pray out of his will. I pray that the grace of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus have been strengthened you according to his will, his purpose. Uh, most important, brothers and sisters, I got a word for you today. Uh, but before we get into the word of the Lord today, let us pray so our heart to get into a place to receive all that King Jesus has to pour to us today, okay? So without further ado, let's pray. Um, dear Heavenly Wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us our sins. We come up here throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your life. We thank you for your hope. We thank you for who you are. And we thank you for pouring yourself into us through your sacrifice that we may live for God, Lord. Lord, help us. We need you. Um, speak to us, Lord. We need that manna from heaven. Speak to us right now in our heart that our posture may be in humility because you are the only hope for life. Lord God, we love you and we thank you for all that you do and all that you bring and all that you pour out. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, my brothers and sisters, let's get into this word, okay? Um, as I've been spending time with King Jesus, he's been speaking to me concerning his heart, okay? As I've been spending time with King Jesus, he's been speaking to me concerning his heart. And he said, son, let your trust be in me. He said, son, let your trust be in me. Because he said, the person that fears the Lord, trust the Lord. The person that fears the Lord, trust in the Lord. Why? Because when we trust in the Lord, he never fell us. But if we trust in ourselves, if we trust in man, then we can fail ourselves because we don't know all things. But God know all things. He knew our life before it began. So if he know our life from beginning to end, that means we can follow him to the end because he helped us get through it the way he designed it to be. Right? And sometime in our life, we live our life looking for purpose, searching for purpose, but our purpose is to worship God. And in order to worship God in truth and in spirit, we must trust God completely. Oh. In order for us to worship God completely, watch this, in truth and in spirit, we must trust God completely. Watch this. Because when we trust God, we can truly walk by faith beyond what we see. Why? Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as I hear the God, hear the word of God, I increase in faith. When I hear the word of God, I can walk by faith. And when I can walk by faith, that means I can trust God for what he said, even though I can't physically see it. For if one going to please God, he must first believe that God exists. Why? Because as he believed that God is this, he can trust God that he is the creator of all things and the life that comes from God fills all things. And the Lord says, speak this message to my children. The title of this message is Trust in the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the title of this message is Trust in the Lord. My brothers and sisters, it is very important that we trust in the Lord God Almighty because when we don't trust in the Lord, we will not fear the Lord. Yeah. Meaning we'll trust in our own solution, we'll trust in our own wisdom, we'll trust in our own knowledge and, and the end result end up being condemned by our own knowledge because we've seen ourselves as an idol. Oh. Huh? And God wants us to trust in him so we can go higher in intimacy with him. God wants us to trust in him so that we can go higher in intimacy with him. Why? Because the higher we go in intimacy, the more our heart, our heart become at rest with his will. The, more, the higher we go in intimacy with God, the more we're resting God's will. The higher we go in intimacy with God, the more we'll trust God's will because his will know our life better than we do. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, if us who are earthly would leave a will for our children, how much more did the Holy, did, did our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus left a will for his children? And that will is to serve God completely. In order for us to serve God completely, we must trust God completely. And in order to trust God completely, we must live by the one he sent to complete us. Oh, watch this. In order for us to live for God completely, we must walk and believe in the one who he sent to complete us. And that one is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. For all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So that means every man have become broken before God. Oh, God, watch this. Sin broke us, watch this, but God made us whole by freeing us from sin. So watch this. God said, in order for you to worship me completely, you must serve me completely by being whole in my son. Oh. 
Why my brother and sister? Because God want us to trust in him. And the more we trust in God, the more we live for God. The more we trust in God, the more we'll lay our life down for God. The more we trust in God, the more we'll sit at his feet with a desperation to hear what he have to say. If us were earthly, we'll see uh, high up public figures with a great economic status, with a great status before men, and we'll go to the events to hear what they have to say for us to prosper. How much more should we sit at God's feet and hear what he have to say to cause us to us prosper in eternal life? Oh, why? Because God want us to trust in him. My brothers and sisters. Why? Because in order, when we trust in God, we can hear God. Oh. When we trust in God, we can see God. When we trust in God, we can see what he's saying, even though we can't physically see it because we heard it by his grace. Oh. And that grace is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Why? Therefore, let us trust in God that God's life may keep us in him. Oh. Let us trust in God that our life may keep us in him. And as we trust in God and his life keep us in him, then that same life will free us by him in his peace. Why? Because God desired for us to go higher. God desired for us to serve him. God desired for us to worship him from a place of intimacy in our heart. Oh. If us who are earthly would love our spouse to be close to them, how much more should we love God to be close to him in intimacy? Why? Because God wants us to come into the bedroom of his heart by allowing us in his, allowing him in our heart. Oh. When we accept God in our heart, we are able to go into the intimacy of God's heart by his sacrifice. Why? Because the Bible said that we must trust in God for peace. We must trust in God for hope. We must trust in God for life because his life never put us to shame because hope never failed. Therefore, if us who are earthly will put trust in earthly possession that fade, how much more should we put trust? in God that never fade nor change because he lived forever. Oh, so my brother and sister, let God life consume us that the power of his love may recognize, but may bring us into a revelation of his power that his power may consume our life in truth. Why? Because God desired for us to be free in truth and God desired for us to be free by that truth that that truth may lead us to completely trust in him. <laughs> Therefore, amen, amen. Therefore, let us worship God, let us serve God completely. Let us worship God and serve God completely. Why? Because God is faithful even to the death on the cross. Why? Because the Bible teaches us we must trust in the Lord. Why? We must trust in the Lord. Right? Psalm, Psalm chapter 115. Psalm chapter 115, verses 3 through 6. Watch what the Lord say now. Watch what the Lord say. This is what he says, Psalm 115. Psalm 115, 3 through 6. And we're going to read it right here, my brothers and sisters. Let's see what the Lord is saying right now. It says, we must trust in the Lord. Because watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we'll walk in the righteousness of the Lord. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, we'll walk in the peace that comes from the Lord. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, watch this. We'll fix our eyes on the Lord. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, watch this, we won't turn away from the Lord because we know he keeps us by his faithfulness. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, we'll look to him for every decision in our life because we know he is the author of life. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, watch this, we'll pour our heart out before him because we know he knew our heart before it began. Oh. Watch this, when we trust in the Lord, watch this, we'll allow him to invade every space in our heart so that there will not be a space between us and him. Oh, why? So that we can trust in the Lord to live. Okay. Watch this. Verse, uh, Psalms 115, verses 3 through 6. Uh, and we're going to start in verse 1. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to, but to your name give glory for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Oh. Watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we give glory to his name because the steadfastness of his faithfulness through his love. Oh. Watch this. The greatest evidence that God was steadfast in his love when he laid down his love on the cross. Oh. That what? We may be free from our sin and the condemnation from the gates of hell because he desired for us to dwell in love, joy, and peace forever. Watch this. Therefore, every life that trusts in the Lord, give glory to the Lord. Oh. Every life that trusts in God, give glory to God. 
every life that give glory to God, watch this, pick up their cross daily because they know God has saved them from a life that they could save them and brought them into a life that they could not receive on their own. Oh, watch this. It said, why should the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does not. He does all that he pleases. Watch this. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouth but do not speak, eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, noses but do not smell. They have hands but do not feel, feet but do not walk. And they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. Oh, watch this. My brothers and sisters, when we trust in the Lord, we don't trust in earthly riches. <laughs> when we trust in the Lord, we don't trust in silver or gold, because watch this, they are idols that have no life. Oh, watch this. Silver and gold cannot deliver our souls from the pit of hell, but the power of God can deliver our souls from sin that we may be free in Christ and be delivered by his grace that we may not be condemned in hell, but raised in life. Now watch this now. It's very important. It says, watch this. Now. Their, their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. So watch this. In the earth, we see money move every day. We see the stock market up and down, bank accounts up and down, and it is always changing. Watch this. Why us who are earthly will put our hope in something that's always up and down and always changing? Because if I put, if we put our trust in our money, that means our hope is going to always be up and down. When we put our trust in our physical possession, they can come and go. So when they leave, my hope go with it. Oh. But when I trust in the Lord that don't leave like earthly possession leave, then my hope remains the same even if the circumstance change. Oh. Why? Because God give us a peace that surpasses all understanding because his peace, watch this, set the foundation of understanding. Oh. Therefore, when God peace consume our life, then what? Guess what? We don't have to be deceived by this false life and corruption that this world offers, my brother and sister. It said, our God is going to say, why should, the, why should the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouth but do not speak, eyes but do not see. Watch this. When we don't trust in the Lord, we cannot see what the Lord is revealing. Oh. When we do not trust in the Lord, and when our salvation is not in the Lord, we can't trust, what, we can't see what he's revealing. Because only by trusting in him can we see what he's revealing, because it takes faith to see it. Oh, watch this. Only when we trust in him can we see what he's revealing, because it takes faith to reveal it. So what does that say about faith and trust? Watch this. Faith, watch this. Faith in God's word that what is what causes us to trust in God, and the trust that we have in God increase our faith by his faithfulness. Oh. So what? Watch this. There's no true faith outside of trusting God. Why? Because it takes for us to have faith when we watch this to trust God. Therefore, trusting God is the evidence that we have faith. Oh. Trusting God is the evidence that we have faith because we believe what he said. Oh. So when we trust God, we have evidence that his word is faithful because we see it come to pass. Therefore, when I don't trust God, that means I can't see what he's saying because I don't believe that it'll come to pass. But watch this. When I trust in the Lord, I believe that it will come to pass so I have faith that he would do it. Oh. So why? Why? So that we won't put our trust in silver and gold, but put our trust in God who created us. That we won't put our trust in silver or gold, but we'll put our trust in God who created us, who that God is, Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven with all power and glory that is coming soon. And all men that call upon his name shall be saved for tomorrow is not promised. So it's some people that went to sleep that did not wake up this morning. So the question is, is our, right, our life right with God today that if we take our last breath, we'll rest in his glory? Watch this. The only way to rest in God's glory is to trust in his glory. Oh. The only way to rest in God's glory is to trust in God's glory. Because when I trust in his glory, I lay my life at his feet. When I trust in his glory, I pick his life up and allow for the Holy Spirit to place it within me so I can walk with him in righteousness and holy, that holiness that I may be free from all corruption. Why? Because God desires for us to live in truth and righteousness and not corruption and death. 
Why? Because God is a God of the living, not a God of death. So therefore, when we trust in the God of the living, we live by the God who lives. Oh. Why? Because God is our life, God is our hope, and he will never put us to shame. Why? Because he desired for us to trust in the Lord. Why, my brothers and sisters? Because those that trust in the Lord endures forever. Now, it says they have ears, but do not hear. So watch this. They have ears, watch this, but when they trust in the, when they trust in the Lord, watch this, they can't receive. When, when they don't trust in the Lord, they can't receive. Meaning, they can hear things pertaining to this earthly life. They can hear things pertaining to the earthly riches, but when it comes to saving their soul, when it comes to giving their true hope, they can't receive it because they're so, so consumed by this earthly life. Oh. Watch this. It said they have ears but do not hear. Why? Because, church, when we don't trust in the Lord, even though he's speaking, we can't hear. Why? Because the pride of this life has stopped our ears that we can't hear from God by faith. Oh. But when we trust in God, it keeps our ears open because we're trusting in his life. We're trusting in his decisions. We're trusting in the choices that he has made for our life that we may choose to follow his, uh, follow his choices completely. Why? Because God gives us a choice of free will. Watch this. Every one of us have a personal choice to follow God. God has created our life from beginning to end. So there's a perfect will that he wants us to choose. There's choices he wants us to follow. But he's not going to force us to choose him. Watch this. He gives us the free will to choose him. Watch this. So watch this. When we trust in his will, we choose the choices that he made. Oh. Meaning, when we trust in his will, we'll choose his will for our life. Oh. Why? So when we trust in God, watch this, it is the evidence that we have faith. And when we have faith, we'll follow the choices, watch this, the will that God has made for our life. So you might say, brother, why on one hand you say that we have free will, watch this, and on the other hand we say God has made choices. Watch this, God has laid a standard for every man's life, right? He said, these are the choices that I would like for you to make. These are the choices I would like for you to do. This is my will. My will is a choice for you, right? So I'm laying my will out for you because I would like for you to make a choice to choose righteousness. My desire for you, God said, my choice is for you, is for you to choose righteousness, right? But you have a free will for you to choose righteousness or to deny righteousness. Watch this. When we trust in God's will, we'll choose what he desires. Oh. When we trust in God's will, we'll choose what he desires. So watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we'll follow his plan. Oh. When we trust in the Lord, we'll follow his plan. And the greatest plan he ever given us was salvation that cleaned our soul from the sin that we have committed in this life. That we may not perish with this life, this earth, but we'll live for him in the new heavens and new earth because he desired for us to live because he loved us. What is the evidence? There is no greater love than when one laid down his life for his friends and he laid his life down for us that we may not uh, perish, but have eternal life through him. Okay? So let's keep moving forward. It said they have noses do not smell. So watch this. There's a aroma of repentance in the earth. Watch this. We see what happened with COVID-19. We see what happened with Ukraine and Russia. We see what happened with inflation in America. We see what happened with baby formula. We see what happened and how the world is going in complete chaos all around us. There is an aroma that God is allowing to flow through the old earth and it's called repentance, right? When we trust in the Lord, we can smell the aroma of repentance burning in the earth. The question is, do we smell it? But when we don't trust in the Lord, we can't smell repentance, we rebel against repentance. But when we trust in the Lord, we humble ourselves and receive repentance because we know it is the grace of God that leads to life. Oh, right? So God said they have nose but can't smell, right? Have you ever been in front, have you ever had, have your nose ever been stopped up? And there was a plate of food in front of you? You, you know it looked good, you know that it smelled good, but you can't smell it because your, your, your nose stopped up. Oh. Or somebody could be telling you, man, it's stinking here, but you can't smell it because your nose stopped up. Because when you smell the aroma, it'll give you a pushback, it'll be like, oh. But if it's a good aroma, you'll smell it, you'll be like, mm. Watch this. There's an aroma of repentance in the earth, and when we inhale it, we'll respond to God's grace. 
But when our nose is stopped up, when we can't smell it, we'll rebel against God's grace and in the end be condemned because we rejected his love. My brothers and sisters, isn't it very important that we trust in the Lord because when we trust in the Lord, we can smell the aroma of heaven. Watch this. Church, God has given us his life through our repentance that we may smell the aroma of heaven. And the aroma of heaven is holiness. The aroma of heaven is righteousness. The aroma of heaven is truth. The aroma of heaven is not, the aroma of heaven is life. The aroma of this world is death. And those that put hope in the world shall never see life because they chose death as their idol. Oh, they chose, watch this, they chose death as their God. Watch this. God said, here, here the day before you, here's the day I put before you, choose, I put the day before you, life and death. Choose, watch this. This world is built, this world is full of sin and evil and it's full of death. So that means when we idolize this world, we choose death as our God. Oh. But when we accept Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, watch this. We see and live for the one and only true God who is alive that causes us to live. Why? Because we trust in the Lord. Okay. It said they have hands but do not feel. Watch this. So when we don't trust in the Lord, we'll have hands, but watch this. We won't receive, we won't feel what God is saying because we don't have faith. Oh. Watch this. When we, when we don't trust in the Lord, we got physical hands, but we can't feel what God is saying because we're not hearing his word. Oh. See, watch this. When I hear God's word, I can feel what he's saying. Oh, watch this. When I hear God's word, I can feel what he's saying in my heart. And when I feel what he's saying in my heart, my hands begin to work for his glory. Oh. And when my hands begin to work for his glory, that means when I touch it, I'm going to give him glory. That means the only way that I'm going to walk is righteousness. And the only way that I'm going to lay my life, and if it's going to be anything I lay my life down for, it is going to be the truth, the life, and the hope that comes from God. And that hope, that life is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It said, they, but they, do, but they uh, do not feel. They have feet, but do not walk. So watch this. They have feet, but because they don't trust in the Lord, they walk in the wrong direction. Because just because we're walking don't mean that we're walking. Oh. Watch this. He said, brother, what are you saying? Just because you have feet don't mean you're walking in the right direction. Watch this. Because I can walk and still not be walking. Because, watch this, God has designed our life to walk for his glory. So therefore, if we're not walking with God, we're not walking the right way. Watch this. If we're not walking with God, we're not walking the right way. Because though we have feet, if we're not worshiping and trusting God, we're not walking. Watch this. That means we are standing still and not walking. But when we trust in God, we're going to move, but watch this. We're not standing still because we're walking by faith. Oh. The Bible said those that trust in God walk by faith. So watch this. Just because we're walking, that, that, just because we got feet does not mean that we're walking. Because church, the only way we walk is by faith. So if it's not by faith, we're not walking. Oh. The Bible said those that live by faith is just about, justified by faith. Those that trust in the Lord walk by faith. So we're not trusting in the Lord, then we're not, then we don't have faith. And if we don't have faith, we're not walking even though we're moving. Oh. But when we trust in the Lord, we're walking. When we trust in the Lord, we have faith. So we are walking for his glory. Okay? Therefore, church, let us trust in the Lord God Almighty. Okay? It said, and they do not make a sound in their throat. Right? It said, and they do not make a sound in their throat. Watch this. They got a throat to make noise, but watch this. Because they don't trust in me, they won't give me glory. But watch this. At the end of the seven-year period, leading up to the second coming of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, everybody who have been prideful and rejecting the Lord, they're going to trouble. The global leaders, the, the, the global leaders, the higher people and politicians who are prideful or trying to be God, right? Like the World Economic Forum, the United Nations want to be God, right? Uh, tell us to lie about climate change. They want to tell us all these lies. They want to be God. They want to control the climate. They want to control everything that we do. When Jesus comes, they're going to be running. They're going to be hiding in mountains. They're going to be terrified at the glory of God that is going to be re revealed. Why? Right now, they, want, they don't want to make a sound and glorify his name now. But watch this. When Jesus comes, every knee is going to bow because he created your soul. Oh. 
And so my brother and sister, why says listen, God said they have a throat, but they don't give him glory. They have a mouthpiece, but they don't make a sound. My brother and sister, those that trust in the Lord make a sound for his glory. Those that trust in the Lord, they live for his glory. Those that trust in the Lord, when they speak, they speak for his glory because they only can speak by his glory from the spirit. Oh, why? Because those that are baptized in the spirit live for the glory of God. Not saying they're perfect, but in their brokenness, they're being perfected by the one who is perfect. That the life that they live is in Christ. Oh, why? Because his grace is so amazing through the love of the Father in heaven that he chose his son to be a sacrifice for us all. That what? We may trust in the Lord. See, I was in the streets. I had a sinful lifestyle before I come to Jesus. Watch this. But when I gave my life to Jesus, I was able to trust in the Father in heaven. But before the cross, I could not trust in the uh, I, Before the cross, before I believed, I did not trust in, 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 in God Almighty because I trusted in myself. And what they did, it led me into sin. And watch this. When I repented of my sin, I accepted Jesus. I began to trust in God. And now that because I'm trusting in God, watch this. He's keeping, from, he keeping me from that which is evil. Watch this. Not saying that I'm perfect. But watch this. When I lay my heart down in repentance, his perfection walk me in his forgiveness that causes me to pursue righteousness and obedience versus disobedience and corruption. So what does that say about God's sacrifice? Watch this. God gave us his sacrifice that we may have grace to pursue obedience. Oh. God gave us his sacrifice that we may have grace to pursue obedience. And what we need to obey in God's sacrifice, and that sacrifice is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, my brother and sister. So what do we say? Let us live for God's glory. If there is anything we're going to live for, let it be God's glory. If there's anything we're going to be in love with, let it be God's glory. If there's anything we're going to put hope in, let it be God's glory. If there's anything we're going to live right for, let it be God's glory. If there's any transformation that we need from in our brokenness of our heart, let it be God's glory. Watch this. If there's any place that we're trying to get to in life, watch this. The greatest place to get to in life is not the earthly form. But the greatest place to get to in life is the heavenly form. And that life is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So what do we say, my brother and sister? God gave us his life that we may trust in him. Oh. God gave us his life that we may trust in him. And the life that we now live will no longer live for ourselves, but live for the glory of God. Because it's no longer us who live, but Christ who live in us for the hope of glory. Why? So that we may trust in the Lord. Okay? And it said, those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Watch this. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. So watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we can have peace because he shielded us by his glory. Watch this. Um, in the book of Job, Satan was going back and forth throughout the earth. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? And, 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 J and Satan said, listen, the only way that he's doing good is because you got a covering over him. Watch this. God was shielding Job. And because God shielded Job, he had protection. <laughs> that means outside of God's shield, there's no protection. Watch this. When we trust in the Lord, it is our it is the faith that... When we trust in the Lord, we are shielded by faith in Him. Oh. Watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we have an eternal shield that keeps our soul from corruption. <laughs> when we trust in the Lord, there is an eternal shield that gives us help in a time of need because His peace gives us life to triumph by His glory. Watch this. When we trust in the Lord, we are victorious by His peace. Watch this. Some of us right now are in despair. Some of us last night at 3 o'clock in the morning was hurt and pain. We didn't even want to tell the person we care about how we felt, what we going through. And we sat at the edge of our bed. We was crying like, I need help because I can't forgive myself or I don't understand what I'm doing. But watch this. God said, I seen your cries. I seen your hope. I seen your despair. Watch this. I am your hope. I am your help. And I was sitting at the foot of your bed at 3 a.m. Watch this. I'm catching every tear. Come to me. The hope you've been looking for, come to me. The life you've been looking for, come to me. All you have to do is trust in me because I am your Lord. Watch this. So those that trust in the Lord will have that freedom that we've been asking for from childhood that comes 
only by the Lord. Watch this. Some of us are bound by our past because we're walking in shame. But when we trust in the Lord, we're free from the shame. We're free from our past because we're no longer walking in shame. Why? Because God died to set us free. So my brother and sister, let us put hope in God and live in his glory. Let us put our hope in God and be transformed by his glory. Let us put our hope in God that in all things we may seek him. Why? Because we trust in the Lord. And they said that when we trust in the Lord, he is our shield. When we trust in the Lord, he is our help. When we trust in the Lord, we will be blessed. When we trust in the Lord, he will remember us through his son, Jesus. When we trust in the Lord, he will bless us. He will bless us. Not just in this, not just a, not in a prosperity gospel way. Yeah, the Lord will give us some things in his life. But the greatest way he blesses us in, is in salvation where we may not perish with the world, but live in his glory, which is true with the riches. Okay? And what else the Lord will do? Watch this. Those who, watch this. Those who are small or great. If they fear the Lord, they will never be put to shame because they trust in the Lord. May the, watch this. I'm going to read the rest of this chapter. It said, May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you, bless, may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's. The heavens are the Lord's heaven, but the earth he has given to the children of man. So watch this. This earth, that's why you see a lot of corruption because man is rebelling against God and don't want to accept God morality for them. So that's why we see killers like we see in Uvalde, Texas. We see shooters like we see in Buffalo. We see shooters that we see in Alabama. We see all of these shooters because they're rejecting God. They're living by their own morality. And watch this, when we live by our own morality, we are hurt other people because we don't have love in our heart. And it's a sad thing. And I'm praying for the, the, the families of the people who suffered in Uvalde and Buffalo and the people in Alabama. My brother and sister, we have to pray because, watch this, people are not living by the morality of God. And the Bible said, leading up to the great tribulation, that the love of many will wax cold. And because of the love of man is wax cold, watch this, they won't have love for other people. And because they don't have love for other people, they'll do other things to hurt other people, even if it costs life. But watch this, when we trust in the Lord, we value life. When we trust in the Lord, we pro-life. Watch this, that means we'll be against abortion. That means we'll be against uh, murders. Why? Because we desire for people to live. Okay? So my brother and sister, what do we say? The Lord said, the, he the, the heavens are the Lord heavens. Watch this. But the earth he has given to the children of men. The dead do not praise the Lord. So those that do not trust in the Lord are dead even though they claim they live. Right? It said that they do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. Meaning, those who go down to the pit is because they did not praise the Lord and give Him glory, so they go down, my brothers and sisters. But we, watch this, that's an alternative. But we, church, will bless the Lord from this time forth. Forevermore, we will praise the Lord forever in His kingdom. My brothers and sisters, this is all I have for you today. I pray this word with a blessing to you, and I pray that it leads you to everlasting life. King Jesus is true hope. King Jesus is true life, and he is who we should trust in. If you have not accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, tomorrow is not promised. You can take your last breath going down the street. You can take your last breath going down the street. Tomorrow is not promised. And so, my brother and sister, if you have not accepted, watch this. If you're listening to this right now online, tomorrow is not promised, but salvation is today. So if you have not accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer for me. Say, dear Lord, I repent of my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Thank you for leading me to this place. Fill me up with your spirit. Teach me to walk in your ways. I put my trust in you for salvation. I believe that you sent your one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my risen Savior. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your mercy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. If you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you did the best thing you can ever do in your life. If you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you did the best thing you can ever do in your life. Now go get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Welcome, my brother and sister, to the kingdom of God, my brother and sister. Because Christ Jesus is indeed coming soon, my brothers and sisters, okay? And so, what do we say, church? It's time for us to repent 
for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And church, we're not waiting on the end time to get here because the end is now. America, 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 repent. America, you're about to be judged back to back, back to back until you humble yourself and acknowledge that Jesus is God and repent in terms of your sin. Repent, America. Judgment is already on the White House in Washington, D.C., where they are losing conscience and will do things that will not make, that will do things that make no sense because judgment is on Washington, D.C. Judgment is on America. In America, you're about to be humbled but severely before the whole world. But watch this. Even in this judgment, God is going to leave a stump, a remnant that's going to be 40% of America is going to be a remnant church that evangelized the world even in troubled times. So as God sent Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, was, they went into captivity, but God blessed them even in captivity. Watch this. So there will be judgment on America, but watch this. There will be a remnant to testify of his glory. And God will bless them even in trouble down, even in trouble times, even through war, even through famine. God will use them still to give glory even when it costs them their life. Why? Because they trusted in the Lord and he def and for him to keep them and finish the race through them by his spirit that they may fulfill his desire for their life. And that desire is to worship King Jesus, his one and only son, right? The son of the living God. Okay? So what does this say about God's grace, my brothers and sisters? God did not give us grace for us to live in the type of way we want, but God gave us his grace for us to live the way he want. And that grace and the way he want us to live is Christ Jesus. It's by Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The way, the truth, and the life, my brothers and sisters, okay? Let us trust in King Jesus, the hope of glory, because only by his glory we are free. Because we can have everything this life has to offer. We have a, a high-paying job, a good salary. We can own businesses. We can have everything this life has to offer. But when Jesus come and we don't go with him, then we was a failure. No, no matter how successful we was in the sight of man, we was a failure because we did not fulfill our true duty, true duty, which is to live and obey God from the heart in truth and in spirit through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. But when Jesus come, we can just be a normal worker, work a nine to five, just completely content with whatever God blessed us with, whether it's a job or a business, whatever he gave us for us to give him glory through his salvation, my brother and sister. And we live for him, loving our God with all our heart, mind, body, and soul, and loving thy neighbor as thyself, my brother and sisters. Watch this. When he come, we go with him that we were more successful than billionaires in this life because we live for his glory. And my brothers and sisters, watch this. King Jesus is coming soon. Three years away. We are indeed in that seven year period leading up to the second coming, my brothers and sisters. So you're about to see the Jewish people reveal their third temple in Jerusalem. You're about to see one world, one world religion push from Abu Dhabi. Watch this. You're about to see, watch this, World War III, right by the bird of mankind. And you're going to see the one world, global world leaders the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, the central banks, all of them bring the world into a, a one world order where all the financial system, banking system, and healthcare be in one place. And they're going to issue a digital law, a digital legislation, a digital guideline, a digital policy for everyone to follow, to follow for people to follow in the physical. And then once they get to the Great Tribulation, they're going to issue a mark to watch this, to try to make the world continue to have access to the system. But watch this. Those that trust in the Lord know that God has already made a way. So yes, the world will go in one direction toward the market of peace and globalism. But God is going to catch them in their own craftiness and open the windows of heaven to give the church a way to still watch this through his will with resources, with his finances, with his glory. Because watch this. God is in control and they cannot stop God's plan because it was finished on the cross. Oh. And so, my brothers and sisters, I pray that this word was a blessing to you, and I pray that it leads you to everlasting life. Let's pray. Um, dear Heavenly and Wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us our sins. We come up for your throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your life. We thank you for your hope. We thank you for all that you do for us. And Lord, help us to live for you. Help us to serve you completely. Help us to lay our life down for you completely. That our hope may remain in you because we abide in you by faith, by trusting in your will for our life. And that will is to believe in the one you sent, Lord. That is your one and only son, Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you for this day, King Jesus. We pray that you will continue to strengthen us through salvation, that we may abide in salvation, that we may walk with you as our Lord and our Savior. We love you and we thank you for all that you do and all that you bring and all that you cry. 
In Jesus' holy and matchless name we pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, remember, King Jesus is the only way to heaven. There's many people in this life that will say there's many ways to heaven. No, there's only one way to heaven. That is in Jesus Christ. And everyone that accepts him will live in heaven forever. Therefore, let us choose him and trust in the Lord forever. See you next time, my brothers and sisters. Goodbye.